There are 12 Star Wars movies, and every single one of them throughout their lifetime has had a trailer. And today, boys, we're going to be watching and ranking every single Star Wars movie trailer from worst to best on this tier list right here. That's right. We have all 12 Star Wars trailers because, yes, I am including the Clone Wars movie because, yes, I do love you guys. Without further ado, let's get into it. And because we're going chronologically, we're going to start off with Star Wars Episode 1, The Phantom Menace. Bomb, bomb, bomb. This was released 11 years ago on the Star Wars channel, so... Uh, I'm not, I'm not, I don't have too high hopes about the quality. I think the quality might be a little, a little mid. Did you guys, is that Darth Vader breathing? Listen. That was Darth Vader breathing. All right. <laughs> Are there any words in this trailer or is it just people grunting and like, mm? refer to the prophecy of the one who will bring there's words even better even better I can help you the force is unusually strong with him who just said it's the guy from fortnite ban that guy to help you. Anakin, tell us to take off. i ever see you again what does your heart tell you i sense much fear in you. oh i forgot that's what yoda looked like in phantom menace oh i forgot that's what yoda looked like in phantom menace dang Dang. All right, boys, you can stop spamming hi, YouTube, by the way. The intro is over. That's right, boys. We're streaming live on uh, YouTube Thursdays at 8 p.m. Jumper Thursdays. Be there at B-Square. <laughs> Episode 1, The Phantom Menace. Well, that was certainly interesting. All right, boys, the real question is, where would you put it on the tier list? Where, if you had to put it on the tier list, where are you thinking? Because right now, I'm thinking, like, C tier. I don't know, yeah, it was a little disappointing. It's kind of a letdown. You guys think B? I would not say B. I think you have to punch and pull B out of me. I'm thinking C's generous. All right, so that's Phantom Menace. Attack of the Clones is next, because this is chronological. Okay. I recognize this music. I will not let this Republic be split in two. My negotiations will not fail. If they do, there aren't enough Jedi to protect the Republic. Okay, right off the bat, the least enticing trailer I've ever seen in my entire life. Nothing makes me want to see a movie less than when the, the main character goes, the negotiations may fail, what should we do about this? And this guy responds with some gibberish about negotiations. Get to the, get to the reason I should watch the movie already. I gotta have a reason to go to theaters when this comes out. Not soldiers. <laughs> Like it when you do that. Sorry, Master. I forgot you don't like flying. His abilities have made him arrogant. Excuse me. I'm in charge of security here, my lady. Check out that Riz, boys. Any, anyone in the chat not taking notes right now, you're missing out. I gotta write that down right now. I'm in charge of security, my lady. Riz. This is a crisis. The Senate must vote the chance okay. for emergency. Okay. All right, that was a cool scene. Very fast paced for when was this released? 10 years ago? 2014. Begun this Clone War has. See, if they'd ended it right there on Darth Vader breathing and Yoda saying, Begun this Clone War has, this would be a sick trailer. This would be this would have gotten way better. But then they carry on for another like 20 seconds with random footage of Jedi fighting and ships blowing up, so. This felt more like a recap than an actual trailer. The art of the trailer has certainly changed over the years. Yeah, you could say that. <laughs> you could definitely say that. B-A-S. Who's saying S tier? Who's saying S tier for this trailer? I'm thinking C to be generous. I'm gonna leave it at C for now and see how that, that fares, if that makes sense. <sighs> All right, next up. I think you guys are gonna be really happy about this one because it's the one, the only, Clone Wars trailer! Woo! That's right, 2008 Clone Wars movie. You guys are always commenting I'm not including it. Guess what? I included it. Just for you. On August 15, in Skywalker is the Republic's only hope. Anakin, someone has to get to that shield generator and destroy it. Obi Wan. <laughs> Come on then! I like, I, okay, I gotta be honest. Uh, normally, the announcer style effects saying Anakin, Obi Wan, would not be welcome in a trailer. It would not be welcome. But it kind of works for a Clone Wars movie trailer. I gotta give it that. You've got that weird. Look. There's a look? You can't miss it. Hang on! Star Wars. 
Wars. The Clone Wars. Rated PG in theaters August 15th. <laughs> coming, coming to your galaxy August 13th. Honestly, boys, I'm thinking A trailer. Short, sweet, concise, coming to your galaxy? What's not to like, am I right? So I think I'm gonna, I think that's the place to put it. And next up, boys, we got we got one of the fan favorites. Star Wars Episode Three: Revenge of the Sith. Jedi. Ooh, it did not, I did not mean to start it there. The dark side of the Force is a pathway to many abilities some consider to be unnatural. Is it possible? He said the line! Oh, he said the line! Where's our side prequel memes? He said the line! <laughs> I freaking hate when people do that. I know, I've watched Star Wars movies with people who do that. When they say the line, Oh, guys, he said it. He, 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 he said, do or do not, there is no try. Get out of here. Just watch the movie. If that's treason, we are at war, Anakin. Okay, un kind of unrelated to the trailer, that space scene, the battle over Coruscant, one of the top three best sci-fi space battles ever. And it was made in 2005, and it's still top tier. Learn to know the dark side of the Force, and you will achieve a power greater than any Jedi. You're under arrest, Chancellor. Are you threatening me, Master Jedi? Oh, that's sick. Oh, that's sick. That scene's really cool. Here's the thing, you know why it's cool? Because in that scene, they didn't show those three Jedi Masters getting cut down by a single swing. That's why it's cool. Because if they showed the actual scene, where the Jedi put up like two seconds of fight, and then die, you'd be like, oh, that's lame. Every single Jedi is now an enemy of the Republic. Do what must be done. Do not hesitate. <laughs> Man, this trailer leaves nothing to the imagination. This trailer leaves nothing to the imagination. They just straight up tell you, yeah, Anakin Skywalker is gonna turn evil and go kill people. You were the chosen one. <laughs> Man, they just don't let you imagine anything. It's all just given to you right there on a silver platter. <laughs> it's just a summary. It's just like a summary. And at the end, they straight up show you Darth Vader. Wow, wow. Wow, that's a, quite a trailer, boys. Um, Personally, it wasn't that different from the first two, but since the Revenge of the Sith has so many so many more cool scenes, it feels so much more cool because every, every two second snippet they give you is just a cooler scene. It's like Yoda igniting his lightsaber. It's like clones firing on the droids. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put Revenge of the Sith. I like that trailer a lot. It was, oh, cause you know, I have to, I have to put a B. I gotta put it B because it was too much of a summary. If I watch that trailer, I got no reason to watch the movie. I, kn I know the whole plot. Ain't no reason to watch anything else. And then right underneath Revenge of the Sith, we have, oh, it's a subscribe button. The subscribe button. Well, boys, I'm putting the subscribe button S here because 92% of you are not subscribed. And if, well, I'm just wondering why not. I'm just wondering why not. If you look at the chat right here, if you look at the chat, they all think you should subscribe. They, they think you should go down right now and hit that subscribe button. I promise you, it's it's worth your time. You watch my videos every week. You sit there waiting like this for the videos to come out. Just check it out. Just go watch the subscribe button. Go watch the subscribe button. Oh, I'm losing my marbles, boys. Go click that subscribe button if you enjoy the videos. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. It means a lot to me. Um, whoever said don't sub, ban that guy. <laughs> First one second of the video. I'm already hooked. That was a sick, sick little intro note. Heard about a job. Big shot gangster putting together crew. Oh, I forgot. Oh, I forgot he looked like that. Hang on, what is he? Who is this guy again? What's his name? You guys are gonna know. Oh, I forgot he looked like that. What happened to this guy? It's been a while since I've seen this movie and I forgot this guy looks like garbage. Dang. I assume everyone will betray you and you will never be disappointed. I got a really good feeling about this. <laughs> Why Han sounds so wimpy saying that? He's like, guys, I got a really good feeling about this. I, 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 you just don't, you don't understand. I got a really good feeling about this. Okay, couple things. That music, really cool. This font for Solo, kind of cool. And finally, this movie, this sorry, not this movie. This trailer just felt like a bunch of cameos for characters that I love. It's like, oh, young Lando, young Chewbacca, Han Solo, the Millennium Falcon, the Kessel Run. So I think that was kind of cool of them. I have a feeling Chewie survives. You know what? I think that's a base, base, base opinion to have when you go into this movie. I think, I think it's safe to say he's gonna live. 
Um, yeah, I think this movie's a little underrated, to be honest. But as for the trailer, I think the trailer is a solid, uh, I think the trailer is A tier. I think it was well done. I think the only thing they didn't do that well was cover who Kira was. They gave no indication as to who Kira was at all. Rogue One, a Star Wars story. Great movie. Great movie. Let's see if the trailer's any good. The world is coming undone. Imperial flags reign across the galaxy. Okay, right off the bat, great freaking hook. Great freaking hook. That was a good, uh, good little introduction. I'm, I'm a little intrigued now as to where they're gonna go from here. Whoa. A major weapons test is imminent. We need to know how to destroy it. <laughs> okay, dang. The visuals in this movie, unparalleled. One of the most visually impressive movies I've ever seen. It, it's so well done. The VFX are awesome. I remember this scene. Are you with me? That's so freaking cool. All the way. W trailer. Great trailer, even better movie. That trailer. I, honestly, this just reminded me of how good the VFX are in this movie. But, as for the ranking, boys... Nah, I'm just kidding. That's S tier. That's easy S tier. Easy, right next to the subscribe button. Easy S tier of a trailer. I enjoyed that one heartily. Soon 100k subs? Well, boys, that's the dream. If, uh, if the person watching this subscribes right now, then uh, maybe we'll get there pretty soon. But yeah, that's the dream. 250 viewers? Are you joking? There's no way we're on 250 viewers. Holy cow! Guys, that's so freaking cool! <laughs> Boys, I used to stream to one viewer on Twitch, and it was Mike Soto who's in this chat right now. Five down, All right, feet. well, that's fine. Boys, thank you so much for everything. Truly. Uh, I I'm getting a little sentimental. Let's get back to the video, but uh, truly. Thank you. That means a lot. That's so freaking cool. All right, let's check this one out. Luke Skywalker was just a Ooh, what a start. What a yeesh of a start. That is uh that is quite an introduction. The music came a little late and it's got the announcer voice on a real movie and the quality looks like it got pulled out of a dumpster. But you know what? That's to be expected. Let's keep going. The farm boy until he received a mysterious message. Harrison Ford. Boring conversation anyway. Whoa, I think we took a wrong turn. Holy cow, boys, do you guys know how this was made? This shot right here was CGI. It was just these, this is real, and this is real, and all of this background is painted on. It's a painting that they like matted over somehow. It's really impressive though. It looks really good. No legendary adventure of the past could be as exciting as this romance of the future. You got that right. May the force be with you in Star Wars. He's, he said the line. Oh yeah, and back in the day, they didn't call it Star Wars A New Hope because they had no idea whether or not it would actually be, um, you know, there would be sequels or prequels or anything to Star Wars. They thought it could be a one-off movie if it flopped, so they only called it Star Wars. <laughs> I can't wait for this to come out seven years ago. Me too, buddy. Oh, oh, I was about to read his username out loud, and then I realized what it, what it was meant to say. Let's go rank this movie. Um, I think I'm going to put this one, honestly... For 1977, boys, probably 1976, realistically, because I think A New Hope came out in March. So when this trailer aired, it was probably like the year before. So 76, that's kind of an A-tier trailer. I actually really like that one. I, I thought that was good. Let's move on to episode five, The Empire Strikes Back. Luke Skywalker and Han Solo rescued the prince. They changed the narrator. It's a different narrator now. Is that really the romance they want to portray? Is that like a good idea, you think? Is that like smart long term? Like surely this won't age poorly. Surely these two won't end up being, you know, twin siblings or something like that. That wouldn't, that wouldn't happen. That just wouldn't happen. They're not that stupid. A galactic odyssey against oppression. <sighs> you know, what was nice about the last trailer, the New Hope trailer, is that they were short and sweet, simple and concise. This one, eh, not so much. <laughs> this one's uh, this one's a little longer than it needs to be. Honestly, if they cut it off right around, right after the incest, the incestual scene, 
Probably would have been a better trailer, but they kind of dragged it on for two minutes. A big new sprawling space adventure in the Star Wars <laughs> Sprawling. Saga, the Empire Strikes Back. <laughs> That's the funniest animation ever for introducing it. They're like, how do we how do we show the Empire Strikes Back logo? I know, I know. Let's have this Star Wars logo explode. Empire Strikes Back. And have the logo come out of it. <laughs> That's so freaking stupid, but it's kind of it's corny. It's corny. Next summer. It's cornily nice. Next summer. So this was 1979. Dang. Not quite as good as the New Hope. I think we gotta put it. Honestly, I'm thinking C. I'm thinking up there with episode one and episode two. I think C tier is a good spot for it. You think that was you think that was S tier? Buddy, the first 40 seconds, it would have been S tier, but it dragged on way longer than it needed to. I think C tier is a fair place to put it. All right. Return of the Jedi. Theatrical trailer 1982. Return to a galaxy far, far away. Okay. <laughs> they got ambitious with them the graphic effects. They're like. What if we have Return of the Jedi and Jedi, or sorry, Return of and Jedi come differently and then a square form is around them. And they're like, Bill, that's genius. The next chapter. Kind of a good transition. For 1982, kind of a W transition. I gotta be honest. That transition right here from the tunnel to the end door. I've seen worse transitions. I've seen worse. I gotta be honest. Oh, oh! Blue lightsaber Luke Skywalker. That's kind of sick. That's like a cameo caught in real time. I actually, I actually like that. A legend fulfilled. It's a trap. He said the line. The circle closes. All right, you guys think of what I'm thinking? This trailer is a little bit longer than it needs to be. Again, New Hope, spot on the money. Nice 40 second trailer, and you kind of got it nice there. You kind of got a nice little sweet spot. But the two minutes, not really necessary. Not really necessary. Anyway, boys, where would you put it on this tier list if you had to? Gun to your head, where are you putting this movie? Because right now, I'm thinking putting it right with uh, Empire Strikes Back. I think C tier is a fair place. I feel bad because I think these trailers are genuinely better than the prequel trailers. You know what I'm going to do, boys? I'm going to add a row below. I'm going to add a row below and give it a D tier. And move the prequel movies to that. That way, we can have a little bit of differentiation because I personally believe that these two are better than these two in terms of trailers. You're built like the pigs from Jabba's palace. Okay, buddy. Everyone knows they're Gamorrean guards. Get it right. And second of all, no, I'm not. Five foot ten, built like Hercules, triceps like a Greek god. Oh, the lighting's off right there. But oh, you have to take my word for it. Triceps like a Greek god. <laughs> Gamorrean guard Jedward. <laughs> 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 Next trailer, eight years ago, Star Wars The Force Awakens, 110 million views. This is before we knew, boys. This is before any of us really estimated how bad these would be. At this time, it was just pure fun, pure simple fun. Ooh, quality's gotten better already. <laughs> you like to see that? I'm, I'm happy to see that. I've been uh, getting a little sick of watching 480p video, even though I'm not holding it against them. They were in like 1970s, so. I was raised to do one thing. I've got nothing to fight for. I'll give the sequels this. Despite their terrible stories and dis dis destruction of old characters and completely turning off all the old fans from Star Wars, the cinematography was very good. The actors were good. This is cool. Like, this looks real. This is very realistic. Nothing will stand in our way. I will finish what you started. This is always a weird point to me that I will finish what you started because did Kylo Ren never hear from like, I don't know, his father, his mother, his uncle about how Darth Vader turned good in the end? Like, did, did he just not know that Darth Vader killed the Emperor? Does he just not know that? Is that just like unknown information to him? So that's weird. Anyway, this is also when Kylo Ren was a cool villain. This is also when Kylo Ren was like actually intimidating and you actually wanted, you actually wanted to see him. So rest in peace to that, am I right? Oh. oh, boys, this makes me sad. I'm not even joking. This makes me sad. I got goosebumps watching this right here on stream. I got go I got goosebumps because this makes me sad. This really does. We could have had so much cool stuff, boys. This could have been so cool, and it wasn't. 
But the trailer's awesome. The trailer's nostalgic. Pulls the old heartstrings. You get to see, you get tastes of, uh, taste of Han Solo, taste of Princess Leia. You get to see Kylo Ren and Ren. You don't know how bad they are yet. I'm genuinely putting that trailer in S tier. Genuinely. Movie aside, S tier trailer. When I found you, I saw raw. I remember very vividly watching this with my dad when this trailer came out. And my dad see these, sorry, saw these, these ATMTs or whatever, these ATATs wannabes. And he got really happy. He like smiled because he was like, oh, I watched that movie in theaters. Because he watched Empire in theaters. He was like, oh, they're bringing them back. And we were both happy. Those were, those were cooler times. It didn't scare me enough then. It does now. Oh. Instantly. Trailer goes down when Luke starts talking about his nonsense. Starts blabbering about gibber gibberish. Gibberish? 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 Gibberish. Instantly goes down a little bit in my books. Every time I see sequels Luke Skywalker, I'm just like, what a waste, man. Complete waste. Kill it. I gotta give, I gotta give Kylo Ren this. His ship, his modified TIE Fighter, that thing's freaking sick. That thing's really freaking cool. Funny thing is, no spark. Spark didn't actually light. There's not a spark in the movie because in the movie, if you remember, they're abandoned. They sent out that signal to the rest of the galaxy and no one comes, no one shows up. So spark did kind of go out. You just kind of got lucky. You got lucky. Destiny. I need someone to show me my place in all this. That's where the Skywalker Saga opening line comes from. I always wondered why Rey was saying, I need someone to show me my place in all this. It was in this movie. I need someone to show me my place in all this. I think it's B tier. I think it's a B tier trailer. It is objectively worse than the Force Awakens trailer, I think. I think it's very easily objectively worse. So I'm going to put it in B. Hey, Jared, do you have any action figures you could show me? Uh, well, funny you should mention it. I do. <laughs> Ahsoka, oh dang, the lighting's awful. Ahsoka Tano, Clone Wars Season 7 version. All right, boys, we're on to the last Star Wars trailer of this tier list, and it is none other than Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. So without further ado, let's give that one a fat gander, a little bit of our attention for the final part. The last trailer, the final one, some would say. Let's, let's check it out. We're not alone. Good people will fight if I like how they cameoed Rose in this. They made they made it look like they made it look like Rose was actually gonna be in this movie by showing her in this shot right here. Boys, Rose had like 20 seconds in this movie, maybe. Maybe if you're really, really generous, she got 20 seconds. What I care about more is Pippin in the background right here. That's right, Pippin is in the Rise of Skywalker. He has a few lines even. We do not stop till nightfall. What about breakfast? We've already had it. We've had one, yes. What about second breakfast? No one does. Freaking sick lightsaber, honestly. Best part of the sequels, or one of them, is Kylo Ren's lightsaber. W lightsaber. Long have I waited. And it just got way worse. And it just got way more freaking worse. Palpatine was such a bad choice. They should have just, if Ryan Johnson hadn't stepped in, killed off their main villain, they wouldn't have had to do it, but. What, uh, what are you doing there, 3PO? Taking one last look, sir. As my friend. Okay, maybe it's just me. Maybe maybe I'm just being a hater, and you guys can call me out on that in the chat and in the comments. But like, I feel like C3PO changed. I I couldn't even explain how. That's just what I feel like. John Williams carried. John Williams popped the frick off in this one. I can't even watch the trailer. I can't even focus on the trailer. I'm too busy listening to John Williams swell in my ears. Too good. Too good. The Force will be with you. Always. Oh, that was cool. Wine, thanks for the five bucks, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, um, one of my favorite scenes in The Rise of Skywalker was when Rey was hearing the voices of the Jedi in her head. In her head because so much of the sequels didn't even acknowledge that movies were before it. They, it felt like they were the first movies ever. So it was really cool hearing like Ahsoka, Kanan Jarrus, Kip Fisto. I feel like that was really cool. 
That was one of my favorite ones in the movies. What do you think, boys? What are we thinking for this one? I think that's honestly a solid. Honestly, I think that was kind of an. I think that was kind of an S tier trailer. I. You know what, boys? I'm putting S tier. Sequels? I gotta give sequels. Sequels got good trailers. There's some good trailers in the sequels. Some good trailers in the sequels. Terrible movies. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. Terrible movies, but good freaking sequels. Anyway, boys, thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, check out this video right here. I think you'll really like it, really enjoy it. Come check out the stream sometime, live on YouTube, 8 p.m. on Thursdays. And uh, thanks for watching. Have a good one. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later. Bye. Thank you very much.